Psychological Facts About Emotions Hurt is often mistaken for anger 85% of the time. A person isn't mad at you, but instead, disappointed. Sometimes, you just have to accept that some people can only be in your heart, not in your life. If you have a hot temper, it will ruin your communication as a couple. Have self-control over your tongue. When you truly care for others, their mood can literally affect yours. When someone says, I hate you, they really mean, you hurt me. When people say, you've changed, there's a 95% chance that you just stopped acting the way they wanted you to. Keeping eye contact with the person you are talking to shows that you are actively listening and paying attention. People tend to be more emotionally open and confess things during late night conversations via texts. Emotional pain lasts for 10 to 20 minutes. Anything longer is self-inflicted by overthinking, making things worse. Frequent visualization of your goals makes you less likely to achieve them. The worst feeling ever is not knowing whether to wait or give up. Never make a decision when you are angry and never make a promise when you are happy. People forget to notice things when they are tense, even if they are right in front of them. It becomes difficult to accept the truth when the lies told to you are exactly what you want to hear. Psychology says that people tend to value memories more than actual people. Sometimes, you miss the memories, not the actual person. Healthy communication requires honesty, no lies. No matter how hard it is. When you're honest, you reinforce your credibility. When something bad happens, you have three choices. You can either let it define you, let it destroy you, or you can let it strengthen you. Emotions, like anger, can make people physically sick. Anger increases the long-term risk of heart attacks and strokes and weakens the immune system. Drinking alcohol takes away your ability to put your emotions in check. Acting out your emotions while drunk can result in feelings of guilt and shame. Do you have a favorite song? That's because you are emotionally attached to that song. 